And then once I've got that, I can go over to open up uh, Safari here. Now so you can see I've got we have a preview of all the, uh, the pages that are available to me. I can tap or I can scrub through them. Hey, how are you? I'm JP. I can tap here to add a new tab. I've got all my favorites available to me. So I think it's great. Photos. Let's put a little photos and I'll put it in full screen. Oh. So now I have immersed in my photos, but I can still use the touch bar here. <laughs> Scrub through my photos. If I want to make edits to my photos, I can tap here. Right, they're always available. Things like right? so the most common can adjust the rotation. Okay. The crop of my photos with this toolbar. Do things like add filters. So now I scrub through the different filters here. Okay. Choose black and white, but at any time I can tap here to preview the changes that I've made to them. Let's go ahead and get out. I'm going to jump into messages here. Open up messages. To click here to open new conversation. Now I can quickly add emojis. So here's my frequently used emojis, right? Just tap here to add emojis. Or if I'm in a conversation with somebody and I want to instantly give them feedback, if I click here and select the message. I can give them instant tap back which is great. And then at any time, depending on the application, I can customize the layout of my touch bar. So these are the default controls that come with Finder, but if I want to change them, I can click on View, and come down here to Customize Touch Bar. And now here's a all the different commands that I can add in, and adding them is simple. I just click and drag the command I want right down to the touch bar, and then you can see I can move it around using the trackpad, or I can tap it and move it around here as well to place it anywhere that I want.